Hey everybody, I'm John Granato. That's Lance Irline. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at Sports Map HOU. A lot of discussion, Lance, about how the Texans used Tank Dell this preseason. I think they hit him. After at the big game he had in New England, I thought, well, let's not show too much. Uh, and then they put him out there on the punt return, and he was sensational. The dude has just been great. How do you think – you think he's going to be a big weapon offensively I think for them? He's go- I think he's going to be a very big weapon. I think they will use him on occasion <clears throat> as a punt returner. I don't know if he's going to be the full-time punt returner. Uh, but but think about this. Where does, where does Bob Slowick come from? Bobby Slowick comes from – uh, San Francisco. San Francisco found creative ways to get the ball to Brandon Ayuk and especially to um, um, Debo. Debo Samuel. So you've got creative ways to utilize those guys um, in San Francisco. I think that he does. I think you're right, John. I think he's stashing right now, stashing uh, Tank Dell. They saw what Tank Dell could do. They've seen in practice. Everyone's been talking about it I don't good don't play him he's a smaller guy don't play him because I think Tank Dell could end up being the secret sauce for the 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 Texans offense to be much more effective I don't think it's going to be a a a plus offense but you will be able to run the football and I think Tank Dell is going to make a big difference in the passing game so why not keep him you you don't want to show your cards in terms of how you're going to use them so Keep him out. You know what he can do. I think he's going to be so valuable that you're going to have to worry about him returning punts if you yeah. want to know the truth. I think it's only going to be a part-time thing when they really need one. Yeah, but they got rid of Desmond King, so that's going to be interesting to see uh, that Tank Dell is going to have to. And dude does not like the fair catch, so it'll be interesting to see yeah. uh, how, how, how often or if by mid or late season you just say we can't risk him on punt returns anymore. I know this. I know that – Coors Light is what I'm going to be drinking while I'm watching football games. And especially, you're watching this right now at Nick's Place for the opening week of this NFL season. We are going to be there at noon watching a certain team play Baltimore, and we're going to be giving away Coors Lights. We want you there drinking Coors Lights with us at Nick's Place, 2713 Rocky Ridge. And keep on listening this entire football season because we got to give away 975 of them away. So we want you to be there when we do give them away. I mentioned Desmond King is a cut. Christian Kirksey is a cut. Shank was cut. He looked okay at tight end. Any surprises for you so far? Not so far, but, you know, just to be perfectly brutally honest, we're, we're, we're taping this at a time where there's still a lot of cuts to come. So we'll have to see who the surprises are. I do think the one thing that really is more important than surprising cuts, if you look at the roster, John, you really think about the depth of every position, what it looks like, they are in much better shape, maybe not at the top end, talent but they're in much better shape from a depth standpoint I think than they were at the end of Bill O'Brien's regime I think that it's this this team actually has some real depth at the cornerback position potentially uh, along the defensive line um, at running back they're they're starting to come around from a depth standpoint and I think the decisions are going to be much harder now than it's been in the past I thought Desmond was a little bit of a surprise for me that surprised me some yeah yeah Christian Kirksey not so much because we thought before the season uh, how much you save on your salary cap you got you brought in a bunch of new linebackers I, I, I just I saw that coming Desmond King was a little bit surprising seeing as how he was a starter seeing as how he he can return punts as well. He's a special teams guy, and he's a veteran. And maybe the, the leadership that he provided in that locker room, uh, I thought that was a little bit surprising to me. But it, I think it's telling you something. First of all, uh, Shaquille uh, Griffin played pretty well. And Dantzler, that interception he had at the end of the game was spectacular. Could have been a big one. Uh, he was asked, D'Amico was asked about Cam Dantzler in uh, the press conference after the game or in his meeting with the, the media on Monday. And he, they asked him specifically about Dancer. He said, you know, he's been a starter in the league. It was nice to see him make that play. That guy can play football in the league. Now, I didn't know if that was his way of basically telling you he's going to be cut, but we think he's a good player, or if that's kind of a, a prequel to, you know, what is going to be him becoming an NFL player for the Texans. Mm-hmm. So regardless – it was interesting to get guys like Griffin and Dantzler to have them available to your team. Dantzler because of some injury issues, so we'll have to see how he holds up. But that's the kind of depth I'm talking about. Those are real NFL stars. They've been NFL starters before. Absolutely.